Greetings. Today I'm going to talk about Speechify, which is a Chrome extension you can use in Google Docs, for example, to read aloud text. And there is an Easter egg in this that there's almost zero documentation about. And that is it has a chat bot built in. So if you write something and then type the characters plus plus and press spacebar like I just did, it will generate a response. So we get this paragraph here when I write explain the theory of gravity and it outputs a response. So we're going to compare this to chat GTP as you can see and see how these two different softwares which use an artificial intelligence language based learning model to create text output. So in this first query we can see that chat GTP is giving a much longer explanation Question number two, let's go a little deeper in our questioning. So in this case, we're going to ask, how big is the sun relative to other stars? And see what it says. So the response generation is surprisingly fast, and it puts it all as one output. We'll compare this to ChatGTP. And just looking at this answer, it seems really reasonable, you know. All these numbers make sense and if you Google them you're gonna get fairly similar information so here we can see more parallels uh, with the Sun being compared to Earth's diameter uh, 109 times larger and then they do a compare and contrast here to this other star so let's build on that information and see if the Speechify AI can calculate a escape velocity. And the reason I'm giving it this question is I'm curious if an AI can understand how an object's gravity well changes with its mass and how that correlates to its escape velocity and just to see how it explains this. So first it wants more specifics, but we'll give it back to um, same question back to chat GPT. And they, they both say, hey, you got to be specific about where you're starting. But this is a much more detailed example. And we're seeing this acceleration to the star system at 9.81 meters per second squared, which is actually relatively slow for space travel. And that's like what you gotta use to get out of Earth's gravity well, or Earth's escape velocity. Uh, and the sun and this star, which is much bigger, uh, Betelgeuse, let's just call it that, is, you know, we, we just know it's gonna be higher. So let's see if we can figure you know, kind of push the AI into understanding or explaining that the delta V is higher from these larger mass objects within the universe. All right, so here we go. How much delta V would a spacecraft need to escape the sun's gravity well? So it wants to know the starting point, but it says generally you're going to need 42 kilometers per second squared, which is way bigger than our 9.81 um, meters per second squared. So that's good. All right, so fast forward a little bit. ChatGTP gave us an escape velocity for Betelgeuse of 7.7 meters per second. Sorry, that was Speechify. And I clearly can't spell velocity, so that's okay. Uh, we will get it right eventually. And this is a really interesting answer. So ChatGTP says that the radius is so big that the escape velocity is relatively low, 
0.77 kilometers per second, even though the mass is higher compared to the sun. Anyway, I'm curious if, if you're watching this and you are a better uh, orbital mechanics calculator than I am, uh, what do you think about these answers? Do you think that chat GTP is correct? Uh, or would the radius not necessarily matter? Uh, or if it does matter, would it matter as much as chat GTP says it does? Let me know what you think in the comments below. And in any case, that's all I got for you today. Thanks for watching. We'll see you around.